Prime Minister Honest, the big bad of Carmen and Kill. I know everyone wants Esdeath to be the big bad of the series, and she is. She's definitely big, she's definitely bad, but as Lockdown said, We all work for someone. And this is who she works for, the Prime Minister, Mr. Honest. Now this man is the epitome of the kid who is friends with the biggest kid. He starts a load of drama, and then when things get ugly, he hides behind his big friend and continues to make the situation worse. But how did this guy manage to climb the ladder all the way to the top? And I'm not just saying that because he's fat. He somehow went from being just a guy to the head of the most powerful empire in the world. We don't really know where he started, but we can assume he was some sort of nobility. But even with that, he stood no chance of actually becoming the de facto ruler of the empire. But to talk about his rise to power, first we have to talk about the emperor. The emperor was, is, and then was again a very young lad, no older than 11. So naturally, he had no right to the throne because his mum and dad sat upon it. That was until they had a freak accident resulting in their deaths. Who caused this accident? Honest caused this accident. But this still didn't give the emperor a straight shot to the throne because everyone around him with their brain was like, this kid hasn't even hit puberty yet. Let's not give him unlimited power and the most responsibility in the world. But honest. He looked at this kid he'd recently orphaned and thought, We can use this. So he wins the Emperor of the Succession battle, making him the Emperor. As a token of his gratitude, the Emperor makes him his chief advisor. I'm gonna guess this was the point where Honest got his Imperial Arms, because now he has unfiltered access to the Empire's weapon stashes along with all of its Imperial Arms. Now his Imperial Arms is the only modest thing about him, in the anime at least. In the anime, it's a ring, in the manga, it's his crown. Slightly less subtle. But his crown definitely should have been way less subtle, because he is definitely the type of guy to wear a crown around royalty. Even even though he isn't royalty, and his crown would 100% be noticeably bigger than the Emperor's crown, like unnecessarily bigger. His Imperial Arms exists purely as a self-defense thing. Once it activates, it destroys any Imperial Arms around it along with itself. Now we have no idea if it recovers after this, or if it's like a one-time use thing, but you would think if this thing had survived for a thousand years, then it definitely would have been something that regenerates, because there is no way no one used this once in a thousand years. Because in that amount of time, they definitely would have forgotten how it works or what it even does. 40 K style. So yeah, I fully commit to the idea that this weapon regenerates after every use. It just takes a while to do it. Also, how stupid would it be to make this thing a one-time use? Actually, would it be stupid? Would it be stupid to make this thing a one-time use? Because you could use it to destroy every Imperial Arms. Yeah, that makes more sense. What the hell am I talking about? Also, what would happen if he used it on his death? Would she just lose her powers or would she explode? I don't know why she'd explode. It makes more sense that she would just lose her powers because there's literally no reason for her to explode. I'm going massively off topic. So let's talk about what he did in a Karmaga kill. To start with, word immediately gets out that the most corrupt dude possible is now ruling the Empire. So the previous Prime Minister comes out of retirement to return to the capital because he could see the writing on the wall and the writing was not good. But the same way word got to this guy, word also got to Honest that he was coming back. So he dispatched Esdeath to kill him. But she was busy, so she dispatched the three beasts to kill him. And that's exactly what they did. And this wasn't the last resistance to Honest coming from inside the Empire, but it was the last open resistance. Now, you're probably thinking, where did this guy get the name Honest? And well, he was born with it. And in this particular scene, he lives up to it. This guy was sentenced to execution. And then, and only then, did he openly resist Honest, which doesn't count. Because this guy, when he was resisting, had no idea that his life was in danger. But this guy knew his life was over, so he was willing to try anything so it don't count. But back to the name. Before this guy dies, Honest gives him an honest review of what's going to happen. Honest is honestly going to screw this guy's wife. Honestly. It's pretty much an open secret that this guy is the worst possible thing that could have happened to the Empire. Like, Esdeath knows how corrupt he is, but she does nothing because he keeps giving her wars to fight. Because she's also corrupt, but in a different way. The other top general in the Empire, General Budo, is also fully aware, I would say even more aware than most people as to just how corrupt Honest is, because Budo is his brother and the Emperor just doesn't know any better. So he has everyone at the top under his thumb, and everyone beneath him is just executed long before they can do anything. But he couldn't stop Night Raid, and that was entirely his fault. When the Revolutionary Army attacked the capital, Night Raid was sent into the palace to kill the Prime Minister, and what to do with the Emperor was left vague. But what I will say is Honest was killed on the spot, and the Emperor was arrested and then executed later. Or at least in the anime, Leone killed him on the spot after he fatally wounded her. But in the manga, she went to fight him and then he chucked her off a balcony, only for her to come back, get mortally wounded and throw him off the same balcony where he was tortured to death by the civilians below. And then after the empire was replaced, they just published the details of his final demise. And that was the end of him obviously. Thank you so much for watching. This script has been a bit all over the place, but I had fun. Comment below how I can improve. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye.